Right, hi guys, it's Tommy, I'm a cycling physio, so I'm from PhysioRink Engadine. Now, I just wanted to go over a couple of things. Now, um, there's been some really good research done in the last couple of years looking at cycling economy or efficiency. Alright, so something that you can do here that I'm going to show you where you can put the same amount of watts into your bike, into your pedals, but use less energy doing it. Okay, so it's everyone's dream, and we're not talking about one percenters here. We're talking about the study has shown you're going to increase your cycling economy or cycling efficiency between five and seven percent in just eight weeks. Okay, and it's going to take you 15 minutes, two to three times a week, and that's going to be it. All right, so it's really, really efficient, and it's going to make you a lot faster. Okay, at the very least, more efficient. So all we're going to do is you're going to do half squats. So you'll ideally have a Smith machine. Uh, these guys, we're lucky. Uh, we're here just down the road from the clinic at, at Vision Engadine, and we're using their equipment. So you're going to use the Smith machine basically because it means that you don't need a friend, you don't need a spotter. So you can see I've actually got down here. I've got the bollards actually in place there so to catch the weight if I actually can't push back up again. And you're going to do four reps and four sets with three minutes break in between, and that's it. Okay, it's that easy. So a total of 15 minutes, including your warm up. Now, you don't need to do any other um, weights training to, to improve your economy. So if you're not doing any weights at the moment and you're like, how am I going to incorporate this into my exercise program? It's only going to take you a total of 30 to 45 minutes a week and that's it. Alright? So, when you're doing the four reps, they need to be as heavy as you can possibly, possibly do. So if you can do five reps, you need to make it heavier. Alright? You have to be doing maximal strength training, otherwise it's not worth doing. That's the biggest point. Alright? So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to set it up. So I typically have it, what some people would say, backwards. Um, so the, the Smith machine is on an angle, so it actually goes in this direction. And I'm actually going to be standing in this direction rather than the other way around. Just as a bit more specific to cycling, because it means you're going to be getting more hip flexion. Okay? So I'm just going to show you, I've only got a light weight on. Currently I think I'm doing about 145 kilos with this. But just to show you. Just big shoulder width apart and then driving the bum back, just a half squat, you don't need to go all the way down, all the research was just um, doing half squats, right. and it's that easy, you do four of them, you have a three minute rest and you do it four times through, but it has to be maximal, okay, if you can do five, it must be heavier, now if you don't have access to a Smith machine, or if you're just not sure about squatting, if it's your first time in a gym, you can, as far as I'm concerned, go and use a leg press instead. So we'll go over and have a look at that. Now for the leg press, I'd really just encourage you doing a single leg rather than double leg. One of the things I don't like about the leg press machine is that it really reduces any need to have any carpal stability, okay? So having it one leg, you at least know that you're training each leg equally and you're not kind of doing it all with one leg. So it's gonna look very similar. You wanna be pretty far away from the plate because you're only doing half squats. You don't need to be like all the way up in here, okay? So I'll just move the chair back far enough. And then just with one leg, and you're just pushing it out and back again. Once again, the key is four rep max. If you can do five reps, that has to be heavier. All right, so four reps, four sets, three minutes in between, three times a week. That's a total of 45 minutes of work. And after eight weeks, the evidence has shown that you'll increase your efficiency between five and seven percent. All right, it's that easy. Get onto it now because it's almost summer and it's time to start racing. All right, thanks guys.